Welcome back. We are here looking at the US indexes. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, October 14th, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe by hitting the subscriber button down here in the corner. Hit the like button in order to help us grow this channel and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So the market for the tech market has been fairly mixed, at least for the biggest tech um, companies. Uh, we have uh, the biggest gains have been Facebook and Microsoft and the biggest losers for this day is, uh, for example, Apple that uh, is down more than 2%. But we'll look at uh, Google first, which is up 0.19%. Uh, so we rallied uh, in the beginning of the trading session. We have uh, lost some of the gains, but still we are, are uh, well, doing quite well. But we have found resistance here when that is also to be expected. Um, there was no reason for this major push to the upside. Uh, this market has been uh, anticipating a stimulus bill that is not going to come before the election and probably not going to come after the election or several months after the election. So I do expect this market to fall towards the 15 moving average. Um, at this moment, it will probably will take one or two trading days in, for, in order for that to happen. If we break the top of this candlestick, then we'll go to uh, these highs of uh, 11,949 and then to the all time highs. Um, I don't expect that to happen without any stimulus. So at this point, I do believe that we'll go towards the 50 moving average at uh, 15,028. If we break through the 50 moving, uh, 50 moving average, then we'll go all the way down to these levels at 14. Uh, 1,451, and then towards the 200 moving average. Technical indicators for um, Google stocks are uh, are very bullish. Um, actually, the RSI is way overbought at this point, point, and that should be a warning sign to everybody that this market uh, will mostly um, turn around um, at tomorrow's session or on, on Thursday, Thursday's session. So if you look at Facebook, you can see that Facebook has uh, pulled back um, quite a bit, um, not that much, actually 0.11%, uh, so, so it's not a major pullback, but it is um, showing a sign of exhaustion. This, as similar to all of the other tech stock, we had a massive uh, rally yesterday, uh, with basically based on expectation that there was going to be stimulus, but there is not going to be any stimulus or most likely won't be any stimulus before uh, the election. Uh, at this point, technical indicators are looking very healthy for, for uh, Facebook. Both the MACD and the Stochastic are very bullish. However, we are overbought at 74 and the Bollinger Band, we basically crossed the top of the Bollinger Band and this usually is a sign that we are going to turn around. If we turn around, we go to the 50 moving average, uh, um, a break through the 50 moving average opens up, opens the door to this level at 258 and towards the uh, 100 moving average at 252. Uh, a break above the candlestick here opens up to the all time highs here at 304, which is not very likely. So, uh, face uh, Apple. We had a major increase in Apple stock yesterday. We rose around 6.4%, uh, and today we are down 2.5%. Uh, um, at this point, I do believe that we'll go towards the 50 moving average. This, uh, was, this move was entirely based on uh, 5G and the new Apple uh, phone, and uh, today we are basically uh, pulling back from these levels, and at the moment we are trading at 121 um, if you look at the technical indicators, the MACD and the stochastic are really bullish. Uh, we are almost overbought, which should be a warning sign, and we basically crossed the top of the Bollinger Band and are now heading towards this uh, moving average at uh, the 20 moving average. So I do believe if we fall from here, we'll go to the 50 moving average first, break through these moving averages, we'll open the door to do this level at 107, and then to the 100 moving average. Um, don't expect this to fall lower than the 50 moving average. I do believe that will bounce from here. However, if uh, anticipations are not met for 
the new Apple products, then of course we can fall significantly at this point. Uh, Microsoft, we had a massive rally from the 50 moving average. Uh, we had this 6.3% uh, rally. At this moment, we're looking, uh, this is looking quite exhausted. Uh, I do believe the next uh, trading session tomorrow, we are going to tick lower and head our way towards the 50 moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, both the stochastic and the, uh, the, the um, uh, MACD are looking really bullish. However, we are significantly overbought and we are also uh, well above the, over the top of the line of the bull in Japan. And that usually means that we are going to go lower. However, if we go higher, then we have this top to look forward to, which is at 232. A break from here, breakdown from here, we'll see us retest the 50 moving average at 211. A break, break uh, through the 50 moving average opens the door to the 100 moving average at 205. If we look at Netflix, then we see that we are about to turn around here. We had a massive run to the upside from the lows at of 17.14%. So at this point, we are overbought. We can see that it's at 73 uh, on the, uh, the RSI and the MACD and the uh, stochastic are looking to looking exhausted at the moment and are going to head downwards. The same goes for the for the for the for the Bollinger Band. This is an indication that we are going to head towards this moving average of the Bollinger Band, which is this uh, fifth uh, two, uh, 20 exponential moving average at around the 514 level. A breakdown from here, we'll see the open the door to the 50 moving average at 502. A breakdown for that, we'll see the door go uh, open up the door to 483 at this point. If we look at Amazon, Amazon also rallied from the bottom here all the way to the top. This is a 21.42% move um, and at this point we are overbought the you could expect both the stochastic and the macd to turn around from here and at this point we are half a percent down which should be a massive warning sign to everybody that we are heading towards the 50 moving average of course this will uh, most of these um, stocks are significant for the indexes which i will make a movie of later on today and Considering that most of them are in decline at the moment and are looking are overbought or the um, momentum is turning to to um, the bullish, you can expect the um, S&P 500, Nasdaq to uh, to follow suit as well. So hope you find the video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Good luck and happy trading.